are back with the wonderful Jim Carrey, and uh, this is a children's book called How Roland Rolls, and That's it's right. a, a beautiful uh, story about a wave. Tell people what this is really about. Yeah, and it's beautifully illustrated by Rob Nason, who uh, is a fantastic artist, and uh, he he came from my my hometown, which is very strange and coincidental, but <clears throat> he's wonderful. But the book is about. Uh, is about a wave named Roland. It's kind of an existential children's book because I had a lot of kind of heavy thoughts when I was a kid that didn't get answered. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and still aren't, basically. <laughs> Some of them are. But uh, it's about a, a wave named Roland who's afraid that one day when he hits the beach, his life will be over. And, uh, and when he gets deep, he's struck by the notion that he's not just a wave, he's the whole big wide ocean. And uh, so that's really what it's about, is realizing uh, our larger, a sense of our larger selves, you know, that we're not just individuals, we're part of one thing, and, uh, and there really is no two things. We all kind of are the same. And, uh, it's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. But it's really fun because, you know, I read to my daughter, and I am, you, know, you know, reading to Jackson, and I read to uh, uh, Jenny's son, Evan, and it's always been so much fun. I, I, I really wanted to, with this book, I wanted to be, I wanted to be part of the, uh, the moment at the end of the day when, when parents put everything else away and they give their kids that undivided attention that they so need, you know? It, uh, it's the most important thing in the world to a kid. It really is, because uh, it tells them that they, they mean something, they're important, and uh, you know, they don't ro uh, rob banks when they grow up. Yeah. <laughs> you know? they, they, they make better choices, uh, yeah. you know, if you do that kind of thing. So, you know, my father was a fantastic storyteller, you know. Yeah. So, so we, we would prompt him to tell us stories at night and stuff. And he was always funny and a little bit scary and stuff. He'd say, like, it was a dark night <laughs> in late October when a mist fell on the old farmhouse like a cold mysterious slice of bologna. <laughs> Suddenly, Tommy stirred from his bed. He jumped out. His stomach was growling. <laughs> he was starving to death, as if he hadn't been fed in weeks. He tiptoed past his parents' bedroom, into the kitchen, and opened the fridge. But it was empty. So he went to the pantry, and it was bare. Then he heard the voice from the mist. Yum, yum, come get some. <laughs> yum, yum, come get some. He walked out the front door, and right in front of him, that's where he saw it. A giant, foot-long hot dog. <laughs> hovering in midair in front of his face. He couldn't resist it. He had to take a bite. And he was sucked up into the alien spaceship that was hiding in this nest. <laughs> Aliens! <laughs> Aliens love fishing for children. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get out of bed. Good night, kids. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff.